<laughs> I gotta get comfortable. What's up, everybody? This is Sean Turnage. This is another episode of Can't Tell Me Nothing. Um, I'm gonna try and shed a little light on the universe. Hopefully you guys pay attention. Or well, hopefully you guys just enjoy and watch my segment. And enjoy. Uh, with that being stated, I am going to start my segment or this episode or however you want to look at it. Um, anything that lasts forever in a company's eyes is a threat to the economy. This is very true. You guys got to watch the documentary Zygites or Zygates or whatever it's called. Uh, maybe you can find it on YouTube, but that's not what I'm getting at. Um, anything that lasts forever in a company's eyes is a threat to the economy. Let me give you an example. If you buy a car that lasts forever, what are you not going to go do? You're not going to go buy another car. So companies make parts or make parts in the car to not last forever. So after maybe like four or five years, that part is going to break on purpose because if a company made that part to last forever or if they made that car to last forever, they wouldn't be making money. So they make parts. So they will intentionally make parts in cars or a product to not last forever. So what this car example is, they're going to make a car and they're going to make parts to start breaking in that car after maybe like five, 10 years, depending on what they do. So what you got to do is you got to go buy another part for that car. You got to go eventually buy another part for this car, that part, that part, that part for this car. And eventually you may realize, dang, I'm spending more money than the car is worth. Or you may just go, maybe it's time for a new car. And that's what the companies want. They want you to go buy another car to put back in the system or at least the economy to keep the economy going. Because anything that lasts forever will not keep the economy going. Like I said, if you bought a car that lasted forever, it would not you would not go buy another car. And therefore, the company would not make more money off of you. So, like I said, they make cars to break. And that car is just an example of what I'm getting at. So, what I noticed was, in my phone, my entertainment apps would always constantly update. When I say entertainment apps, I mean Tinder, Kick, Snapchat, Netflix, anything you can think of that uses, that entertains you whenever you're on the train or at school or waiting for class, whatever, whatever. Get get what, what am I getting at? <laughs> or just follow me. They're always constantly updating. And when they're constantly updating, they're eventually going to take up more space in your phone, causing you to have low RAM on either your disk or your phone. That's fine. But whenever I uninstall my entertainment apps, I always notice that apps that I didn't know about kept updating and my YouTube app kept updating and certain apps kept updating. And it's like, well, I don't even care about that update. And I don't even want that update. Why does this keep updating? They're trying to do that with the apps too. They constantly update apps so that way it expands in your phone, causing you to have less RAM in your phone and then eventually have low disk space and then eventually you have to go buy another phone. I think that they do that with apps. I really do because my YouTube always was updating and apps that I didn't know about kept updating and eventually I would have low RAM which caused me to have low disk space. And if I have low disk space, I can't install my entertainment apps. So I think even they do that with software for phones. They constantly, they make the apps to have to constantly update to eventually cause you to have low RAM, which low RAM causes you low disk space. Low disk space eventually means you're going to have to buy another phone with more megabytes or more gigabytes or, you know what I'm saying? So this is my app conspiracy theory. Maybe nobody bothered to look at it from the app perspective. Maybe just, you know, products that you can see or, you know, like cars or something. But this is just the app perspective of planned obsolence. So this is going to be my app conspiracy theory episode or the app conspiracy theory episode. So with that being stated, I'm Sean Turnage and this is another episode of Can't Tell Me Nothing. Shedding a little light, and I'm signing out.